things are about to change. I'm hoping for the better, but things could also go terribly, terribly wrong along the way. So allow the documentation process to begin. As a kid, I always had two major dreams, the second of which was to come and live here in Japan. And what was no small feat to get here, I've now spent the majority of my adult life right here in Japan. And thankfully, I've stuck it out to the point where I can honestly say that Japan has given me more than I ever expected to have in life, definitely more than I could put into a single conversation or YouTube video. In fact, I considered listing off all of the things that Japan has allowed me to do and the things it's allowed me to be a part of, but there's an entire channel for that. You know what, I am way too restless and excited to sit here and do this, so let's go do this at the airport. I've always wanted this channel to feel like this, this journey of its own that you're kind of tagging along with, but in order for it to be a journey, I kind of feel like we need to be making some kind of progress. And with everything and every one that the last two years have taken, I've decided that it's, it's time to move forward. No more waiting. I'm chasing my dream of becoming an aviator. I wanna fly, I always have wanted to fly ever since I was a little kid. It is by far my biggest dream in life. I'm so excited to even be able to say these words and I'm gonna be doing that here in Japan starting immediately. I've actually been slowly and quietly kind of working on this in the background for some time, but after a fairly big personal loss back in February, I figured I would just stop wasting time and just, just go for it, just do it. I had to move. I live out in Kyushu now, by the way, so that's a thing. I didn't want to say anything about it too early because there were so many steps and points along the way where anything and everything could have gone wrong and stopped the entire process. The first big challenging step was getting my pilot's health check through the government, which is an insanely time-consuming and difficult and tedious health check. I was very nervous for that. I'm slightly nervous because if this doesn't go well then nothing goes well nothing happens so this is step one everything rides on this I hope I'm as healthy as I can four and a half hours the entire thing took four and a half hours but the doctor said I am approved so unless anything major comes back in my blood work saying that I'm dying or in terrible shape or I guess dying so now I just spend the next week waiting for the blood results and staring at Tokyo Tower. Luckily, that went smoothly. I got the health check and that enabled me to go to the next step, which was applying for the, the, the card basically that allows me to fly. And the day that that card arrived was exciting and emotional. Like I now have a card that says I am allowed to fly an aircraft. I still don't know how, plus it took me three days to remember how to pronounce the name of the card because you know what that actually that reminds me the real kicker to all of this let me show you something so the big challenge here is that I am doing all of this in Japanese my ground school my flight school my textbooks my tests my flight checks pretty much all of it is being conducted in Japanese. You might be asking yourself, well, can, can you read Japanese at that level? And the answer is not yet. I don't wanna say no because I'm working on it, but one of the biggest struggles in it is I needed to learn everything in English first so that when I'm learning it in Japanese, I at least have a base of knowledge to work with and I know what's going on. And so for the past four to six months, I've actually been spending between two and eight hours every single day while running this channel studying. I'd say 80 to 90% of that is actually learning aviation. And then the other 10 to 20% ends up being me studying the language and the kanji. And it's getting easier and easier, but I'm not quite there yet. I will be, but it's going to take time. Also, you know, let me continue this part as I do a little bit of a cockpit check. I have essentially joined flight school 
in Japan. And while everything is in Japanese, the international language of aviation is still English, which means a lot of the other students can speak English, opening up the opportunity to make new friends and learn from each other and everything like that. And I feel like I should also say that no, this doesn't mean that this channel is going to turn into an aviation channel. There will be a separate channel for that. This channel will continue on theme, just with the odd adventure from above tossing every now and then. And how long will all of this take? Well, usually you can get your private pilot's license in a few months to a year, but adding in the fact that I've got to learn it all in Japanese and learn all the jargon and the kanji and everything like that, I've earmarked myself about a year, year and a half. Hey, if it takes two years, that's fine. I think it goes without saying, but I would much, much rather do it write and actually learn it well than to do it quickly. The majority of my time is going to be spent here in a place called Kirishima. It's at the south of Kyushu. I'll be using this as the base for obviously my training as well as my travels out around Japan, which means we're probably going to get a lot more Kyushu videos and I'll still be making fairly regular trips back to Tokyo. In fact, I've got to go back to Tokyo in just a couple weeks to do this three day course and test for my pilot radio exam which I'm really not looking forward to because some people claim it's more difficult than the tests that you have to pass to get your license which there are multiple of by the way ranging from navigation and piloting skills all the way up to Japanese aeronautical law and it's there's a chance I've bitten off more than I can chew at this point of the process I'm I'm okay with that <laughs> only only time will tell but when it's all done providing I survive, I'll be a pilot. And that opens up this entirely other world. Like there is a whole other world up there that most of us never get to see with its own culture and language and viewpoint and mindset. And I'm just so incredibly excited to, to finally be at the doorstep of having access to all of that. Like obviously I'm in a hangar right now, but someday I'll be able to look out the window down at Japan as I fly over. It is so exciting. And the Patreon crew has been so supportive in all of this, which I really appreciate because this is one of the biggest challenges in my entire life. It's a bit more expensive than it is to do it overseas, but I just got tired of waiting for the option to maybe someday go overseas and get my pilot's license. And then even when I come back, I would still have to do some of the tests and get the radio exam and everything in order to convert it to a Japanese pilot license and all that boring stuff. And quite frankly, I would much rather go broke trying to become a pilot than to spend the rest of my life wishing that I had done this. It's getting pretty hot in here. Am I being completely honest with you? I am the greatest mix of excited and terrified that I have been in a very, very long time. And again, while I'm sure some of the flight stuff will make its way onto this channel here, I've already set up an entirely other channel to document my aviation journey here in Japan. While I'm still working things out, it's likely that the majority of the episodes will drop on Patreon first, possibly even months in advance. I still don't know what shape it's all going to take. It's it's up in the air. My first ever flight is coming up tomorrow, by the way, which I'm insanely excited about. And it's one of the reasons I've come out to do a plane and cockpit check and just kind of get used to the, the look and feel of everything. But my heart is absolutely racing out of my chest. There is just so much, so many things that I want to say right now. And there's, there's just not enough time to do it. There's... <sighs> I wish you could feel my pulse. Like my heart is serious. Like dun, 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 dun. I also make this knowing that some of you may even be pilots. And if you are, I would love to hear from you. Or you might be like some of my friends who think I'm absolutely crazy for doing this. But either way, I guess this is it. This is the basics. This is what's going on, where I am, what I'm doing, why I've moved. I... <laughs> I think I've said I'm excited about 4,000 times, so we'll leave that as is. Thank you guys so much for joining this. If you haven't hit subscribe already, this is your formal invitation. I would love to have you as a part of this journey. Also, the new channel is linked. Everything's going to be linked. Thank you. Thank you so much. With all that being said, I will uh, I'll see you again real soon.
Also, th these clouds right here just tell me summer is on its way and it feels so good. Back in university, there were times where I would actually go out to a local small airfield and study just so I could watch the planes coming in and out. And then when I first started this channel, there were times where I would actually go to the airport and work in the lounge just so I could feel closer to the plane. That's how much, that is how much I love planes and that is how much I am looking forward to this. And into my leg <laughs> oh they're not gonna let me use these planes are they